So you want to learn how to add a clickable link into your Facebook stories? Well, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down step by step exactly how you can go about doing that. So you definitely want to stick with me all the way through this video so you don't miss anything. Now, my name is Rakeem Madison, and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want to learn how to build a long, sustainable business that will give you the freedom you deserve, all right? So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my camera and we're gonna jump right into today's content. All right, so now that my camera is minimized, you can see that we are on the Facebook platform, all right? And then as we already know, um, I'm assuming you already know, um, this would be the story section as far as it being on the actual desktop. So a little bit later in the video, I'll show you, um, you know, on, on my uh, mobile mobile device, how it will look on story, how the story will look on there, and how your clickable link would actually look, all right? All right, so let's get into it. So how do you actually add a clickable link? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go over here to YouTube, and then I'm gonna go into my uh, YouTube studio, and what I'm gonna be posting is I'm actually gonna be posting a YouTube video. So once it populates here, I'll go into my videos, and I'll show you exactly what you're, you know, why you're here on this video. All right, so now I'm gonna click on videos. All right. Once it gets to videos, I'll just use the first video that's there. So this is a video I did just the other day. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into that video. Now, you may not necessarily have uh, the tool that I'm about to use to do this, but there is another way and I'll show you how to do that as well. Okay, so I use TubeBuddy um, as one of the tools I use on, sorry, uh, one of the tools I use for YouTube. Now when I click this right here, you can see this right here that says promote and it says share tracker. So one way I can do it is I can click on share tracker and I can click on this little Facebook logo and then as you can see, it's going to create a post for me to post as a regular post, but that's not what I want to do, right? So what I want to do is up here, I would type whatever it is that I want to show up on my Facebook story. So if it was, hey, have you heard, um, have you heard about the new, um, the new Google, uh, the new, let's see, brand new, let's go there. All right, so all caps, brand new um, Google custom audiences. Oh, I spelled Google wrong. Are you kidding me? <laughs> all right, so Google custom audiences. All right. All right, so boom. Guess I can't spell today. All right, so hey, have you heard about the brand new Google custom audiences? So let's say, for instance, that's what I wanted to have for my story, but down here is where we want to pay attention to. So you can see it says news feed, and then it says story. So what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck news feed, and then we're going to check story. So now, this isn't going to be posted on my profile. It's going to be posted on my story, right? So what I would do is I would go about um, hitting the post to Facebook. Now, I don't really want to post this on there because I, you know, I kind of got like my flow of content, but I will show you how it's done. So I'm going to hit post to Facebook, all right? And then once it actually does it, I'm going to go over on my mobile device. I'll show you here on this computer, um, you know, because I got my phone pulled up. So now let's go over here to this tool. Okay, so now we're going to go on my phone and we're going to go over to Facebook. So hopefully you can see this. Um, and if you can, just, you know, give me a thumbs up in the comments or something like that. All right, so, so now you can see on the screen, I have my story from today. Okay, so if I click on this, boom, there's a story that I did from the day, got about 57 viewers, um, and then so on and so on. Now, um, the, the one that I just posted, it should be showing up on my story. Okay, so boom, you see how it just popped up? So now, hey, have you heard about the brand new Google custom audiences? So this is what it would show up. Um, this is what it would actually look like. So if I click on that, boom, it's going to take me, oh man, it, it went away. All right, so boom, it's going. it should take me right over to it. So you see how it says view website? I want to click on that and boom, it takes me right over to my YouTube video right there. So that is how simple it is to do a clickable link. Now for the other, the, the, the other way that you can go about doing it is let me, let me actually put my phone down. All right. So let's go back over here to this screen. All right. So now 
What do you want? What, what is another way that you can do it? Well, you could actually grab the actual raw link and then just go over to Facebook, go as if you're about to create a post and just paste the link in there just like that. Now with it doing that, what this is doing is this is doing like what they call fetching. So it's fetching a preview. And so now the preview is up. So the same way that I showed you how to do it to where it took me automatically into it. Well, this is more of the manual way to do it. So now do the same thing with the news feed, do the your story and then hit post. And it's going to show up the exact same way um, that I just showed you uh, using the other method. So that is literally how you add a clickable link um, to your Facebook stories. So hopefully you got some value from this video. And if you did, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, drop me a comment down below letting me know if this was helpful or valuable. And I did another video showing you how to use Facebook Stories for your business. So you definitely want to take a look at that video if you want to kind of really jump into Facebook Stories. Um, it's the first link in the description down below. Um, I think it's a very valuable video and it'll set you on your way. All right. So with that being said, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace.